Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about uh, how to calibrate your camera. So, what we're going to do here is start off by taking a few images. We're going to start off with VLC, which is a media player we're going to be using to, uh, to do this. Alright, let me make this a little bit bigger. Alright, there we are. We want to go to media, open capture device, select the camera we're going to be using. Alrighty. And we're going to take a few images here. Now, here's our checkerboard that we're going to be using. What you want to make sure you do is not move the camera at any point in time. The whole point of this is to calibrate your camera. And if you are moving it, well, between taking any pictures, you will skew your data. And that's the last thing we want to do. So here is a standard baseline picture with the checkerboard nice and upright. This will be our first picture. And our second picture, we're going to rotate the checkerboard. Just like that. And take the snapshot. And here is our third picture. And we will take this. Also, and our fourth and final rotated, and done. All right. Now what we're going to have to do is convert all of these pictures to TIF format so they can work with the code that we have in MATLAB. So we're going to go here and start GIMP. GIMP is a video uh, image editor. And we're going to open. This is our baseline. And we're going to save this into the MATLAB directory. And the folder you want to look for is webcam orientation. And you want to save it under Calib Example. All right. Now up here, I'm going to change this to Image One. Dot TIF. And down here, select TIF and save. And save. Okay. So that's our first picture. We want to open the second. Okay, and we want to repeat this process into MATLAB, webcam orientation, the example, and call this guy image2.tif, and save, save. Alright, bear with me here as we finish up these last two pictures. Save and save. File open. So as we've done here, we've saved our fourth and final image. And save. Okay, congratulations. You guys have so far taken four images and saved them. Now what we're going to need to do is open MATLAB and start the calibration process. Okay, now we're going to have to open up the MATLAB folder in the directory 
and make sure we add the webcam orientation folder to the paths. Okay, just ignore these th these four files here. You're going to mainly be working through the toolbox underscore calib folder. All right. So what you're going to want to do is run calib underscore GUI. This is the heart of the code. You want to select standard. All the images are stored in memory. And you want to make sure your present working directory is calib underscore example. So let's see if... Okay, bingo. So now we want to go back here and oops, click on image names. And the four images that we converted come up. We're going to want to type in image and TIF. Okay, and those are the four images we have taken. The code automatically converts them to black and white to reduce contrast as much as possible. And in order to start the process, we're going to have to extract some corners. So you want to make sure to click on Extract Grid Corners. And we want to just click Enter because we want to do it for all images. And we want the code to automatically count the number of squares. So just click Enter. Now you're going to want to start at the top left square. Click on that corner then top right, bottom right, and bottom left. You want to make sure you're within 5 megapixels and we'll just assume 100 millimeters. Okay. And there's no need for an initial guess for distortion. So that was our first figure. Now we're asked to do it for the second figure. It's top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. Now this is sort of the grunt work of the whole calibration process. You're going to have to do this for all the images. And the neat thing about this is once you're done, all of the calibration data will be saved into a file which you can load later and you will not have to run through this calibration process when you add new images the program will automatically assume the parameters uh, that uh, you're collecting right now okay so we have completed our four images and what we're gonna have to do is calibrate our grid corners so you want to go back to the camera calibration toolbox and click on calibration and we have received an error of 0.215, which isn't too bad. Now you want to go back to the cal camera calibration toolbox and click save. And what has been done is the calibration that you've just been uh, doing, it'll save the parameters in a file under calib underscore example, of which you can refer to later. And that is how you calibrate your camera. That is step one of the process. Thank you for listening. Hey, uh, Nick. Yeah. How do you stop um, this? Stop recording? Yeah. Just uh, control.